For the patients, I want to always, you know, tell them, you have to be brave somehow. Medicine is changing. I want patients to become more well informed than now they do. As you already have to treat your patients here in Korea, mm -hmm. what is your motivation then for going abroad to other countries? At a certain point, if you become a surgeon and you do a lot of surgeries, you can't learn anything from the others anymore or just doing your surgery will not improve your surgical skills that much. How to improve that? I believe you should train the others so that you can objectively see how your surgery, what your surgery is. Some of the surgical steps you have to, you have to categorize and uh, you, know, you have to logicalize your surgery so that you can explain it to the other surgeon. Mm -hmm. In that process, you can objectively appreciate your surgery and can improve your surgery afterwards. So you're always learning, always improving, always teaching others. Because nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect yet and I won't be able to do it. So it's a lifelong I mean, uh, process. And we understand you want to spread awareness for this surgery. What's the reason why? I believe surgeons and medical, I mean, uh, personnel and medical industries should, uh, we should give more in, uh, attention and our attention to the uh, quality of life treatments. Penile implant and the treat, a surgery for erectile dysfunction is not a critical illness treatment. I mean, you don't need it to live. <laughs> it's not a life or that disease, but still, it impacts man's life tremendously. Mm. I think it is fair to say if the patient knows that treatment but still doesn't want that, that tr treatment, it's a fair situation. But many, many patients doesn't, uh, do not able to get this surgery because they don't, they don't know it. I don't think that's a fair situation. Then do you have a parting message for future penile implanters or potential penile implant patients? For the patients, I want to always you know, tell them, you have to be brave somehow. Because uh, admitting that having a condition like this as a man is a very embarrassing thing. But once you tell, once you talk that, once you talk it out with a proper surgeon or doctor who can help you, you will get a much better response from them. It's your choice. It's not life or death. Mm -hmm. But if you feel like that you are suffering from it, you don't have to waste your life like that. Mm -hmm. We are striving to live a happier life, isn't it? And do patients usually know what they want when they come to you? Actually, not many people know uh, what they want in the first place. So giving them enough information so that they can decide whether they want this treatment or not mm -hmm. in the head of coming to the practice. As we know, there's many tools these days, platforms these days, like a YouTube or you know, Google or many things you can utilize, patients can utilize. They have a much better access to the medical information than before. I mean, like this filming as well, I want to provide them information so that they can uh, educate themselves and find a better treatment for them. Medicine is changing. I want patients to become more, I'll say, uh, well-informed than now they do. Mm. How about for the uh, future For the surgeons, implanters? many surgeons fail that because they try to treat the erectile dysfunction patient just like the prostate cancer patients. They are different. That's the first thing they should understand. If they can, if they want it, they will have a much happier life because many patients with the penile implant will reward you after six months of the surgery. Surgeons become a happy people due to their patient's happiness. I just want to tell them that if you are willing to come to the path, you will have that in your future. And how do you see this surgery in the future? We all look different, right? Yeah. And we all have a different body and anatomy and characteristics. But current medicine is not able to meet the differences of the each and every people. Person. But I guess in the future we will be more we will be able to you know meet the differences of the each characteristics so that we can serve our patients better. <laughs>